runners are parading. We'll uh, look at these uh, runners to go around. Number one infiltrator, Michelle Blank, Alan Kennedy combining. In the yard, he's up on his toes. He is pricked and uh, ready to go. And uh, has really hit form since coming up here and racing up here on the gold fields. Infiltrator. New lease on life uh, for this horse. Only had the 14 start. Sits on speed, so makes his own luck. Infiltrator, currently $7. Did open up shorter, though, at uh, around about the $5 mark, out to $7 for number one infiltrator. Number two is Double the Pro, all eyes on this horse. And uh, has the, uh, the earmuffs on. Number two, also looks very alert today. Peter Fernie combines with Mitch Pateman, caught the eye first up, double the pro, and then uh, ran a bottler here last week, or last Sunday, came right down the outside fence, probably should have won. Is on the back up, ran home in 33.4, last 600, very quick double the pro, and uh, it's uh, pretty firm in the market, uh, $2.05 on the fixed, opened up at 210 for double the pro, but still in the black. Three is Night Tempest, did go out early. Uh, John Lug and Jordan Turner combined, and it walked out like a lamb this afternoon. Very relaxed uh, Night Tempest. Pacifiers coming off, and ran down the track to Infiltrator last start. Uh, that was here last Sunday. Currently $14 for Night Tempest. Usually a little bit hot in the yard, but not today. Night Tempest. Walked out very relaxed. Number four is Nicholas. Conversely, Blinker's going on this galloper, and he's just gone out now with the clerk of the course. Blinker's going on Nicholas. Uh, look for this horse to race more forward today. Randy Tan aboard, Neil Dalla prepares. Was a shade disappointing behind Infiltrator here last week. Is uh, currently $7.00. And opened up at $4.40 for number four, Nicholas. Five, Watto's Fury, Rod Brown, Kira Yule combining, racing really well, improving with each run here, Watto's Fury. And uh, was in that uh, good uh, go to the line with Scooter's Machine prevailing here last Sunday. Double the pro running third. But uh, Watto's Fury right in the market once again. And he's knocking on the door, currently $4.00. Opened up at $4.60. Number six is Ice Crusher. As uh, they're uh, doing their preliminaries, heading over to the barriers at the 1300. Number six, Ice Crusher, currently $13. And Neville Newton, Christy Bennett combining. Uh, last start ran down the track behind Regal Council. Number seven, The Last Waltz, currently $18. Brett Matthews prepares on course. Peter Nucky has the mount was also down the track behind Infiltrator. Number eight, Heron Sand, prepared uh, by Jaden Thomas on course. Fiona Bell has the mount. And uh, just passing the post now, doing its preliminary. And looks well and healthy in the coat. And uh, it ran on well from uh, last. Got a long way out of her ground last start. And uh, made up ground in the straight behind Regal Council. That was on the 28th of July. And uh, definitely an each way chance here. We'll sit back, currently $18. Number nine, Smart Traveller is the last one. Helen Harding prepares, Shelby Botel has the mount, currently at 100 to one. And its runs have been spaced, last raced on the 21st of July. So there's a look at the runners engaged for race number four, it's the first leg of the quaddy. So a reminder to put your quaddies on if you haven't already on course. There's a big crowd here on course as well with the uh, a few functions, which is good to see. Top four selections, race number four out of Kalgoorlie. Two double the pro on top from five, Watto's Fury, four, Nicholas, one, Infiltrator, 
two, five, four and one. Race number four. First leg of the quaddy out of Kalgoorlie and punters have four minutes to invest. So there's runners uh, behind the line. Shortly they'll come along. It's just the Elders Insurance Handicap. 1,300 metres. The journey here for this next event on the program. We saw a thrilling race in the previous with four of them going to the line locked together. Nothing between them. Playing Zeus just getting it there over Dirty Dot. So those runners will come up to the line very shortly here for... This uh, fourth event today, we see Infiltrators won his last couple here. One is Maiden. Both times he showed good play pace. He was able to get up there in second spot and uh, go to the line and be able to uh, do it. Blinkers, uh, blinkers go on uh, Nicholas here. Otto's Fury been money around for this horse. Uh, drawn in gate number six. Double the Pro was a good run here last week and is the favourite at uh, $1.95. But $10 about Infiltrator. Night Tempest 21. 11 Nicholas. Watto's Fury at 3. And uh, one ninety five about Double the Pro. So they're the main ones. Heron Sand about to come up to the gates here for Fiona Bell. Drawn in number 2 is Heron Sand. The last waltz behind the line. Nicholas to come up. One is Maiden here. A couple of couple of uh, runs back, trained locally by Neil Della. Randy Tan has them out. So, Smart Traveller now comes up. The last while, Swatto's Fury. Infiltrator still out of line, and Ice Crusher is behind the line there with the barrier blanket on. So they should get this last uh, 
Four or five up fairly quickly. Nicholas about to trot up towards the gates. Comes along. Watto's Fury attendant uh, now getting with that one. Infiltrator. Alan Kennedy has the mount. Drawn out on the outside. Infiltrator. But both times it's shown good pace. Now the last waltz now comes along. So Ice Crusher. Infiltrator. And uh, Watto's Fury about to come along. Money around for Watto's Fury. Now yeah, comes up, drawn six here, trained by Rod Brown locally. Watto's Fury comes along. Of course, we've got racing here next week. And uh, in a fortnight after, we have the Hard Electrical Kilgardi Cup. $100,000 race. Now, Infiltrator about to link along for Kennedy. Starters up. So just waiting for this last one to come along and be set to go. Race four, first leg of the second quaddy this afternoon. So Infiltrator to come along. Nice looking chestnut. About to go on here now. Stand by. Infiltrator goes up. Red lights on. 1300 here on pastoral day they're all set gates spring back they're off and racing good start what is fury flew out of the gates Runs to the lead, Infiltrator got away well. Nicholas showing speed and Heron Sands driving through on the inside. Then a further length back to Smart Traveller on the inside of the last waltz. And a break of two lengths off in the field. Then to Night Tempest on the inside of Ice Crusher and Double the Pro. The favourite drops back to the tail of the field. Well, it's Watto's Fury out in front. Leads by a length. Infiltrator's over on the outside. Second at the 800. Then came Nicholas Heron Sand, the inside fourth. Further two lengths to Smart Traveller from the last wall. So Ice Crusher going around the outside from Double the Pro and Night Tempest is back on the inside at the tail. So 600 metres left to go and it's Watto's Fury in front. Leads from Infiltrator on the outside. Nicholas has gone up there three wide. Then came Heron Sand. Ice Crusher, double the pro, starting his run around the outside. From the last wall, Snipe Tempest, his second last. Smart Traveller's last of all around the corner. Watto's Fury just shows the way here from Infiltrator on the outside. Double the pro's gone up wide. Nicholas, Heron Sand, the last waltz. 200 metres left to go. It's Watto's Fury in front. Leads from Infiltrator. Nicholas, double the pro, the outside. It's Watto's Fury in front. Double the pro and Nicholas a coming at him, Watto's Fury in front Watto's Fury in front, Watto's Fury gets it from Nicholas Double the Pro then came uh, back on the inside there, fourth was Infiltrator from uh, out wide Night Tempest, Ice Crusher Heron Sand, uh, behind those was the last waltz and Smart Traveller's last, Watto's Fury able to uh, skip to the lead uh, has uh, done it all the way, Double the Fury went up wide but uh, couldn't do it. Nicholas fought hard. He'll run second in the centre. Number five is up. And that is Watto's Fury. Kira Hill all the way. Second goes to number four, Nicholas. Randy Tanner. And a double the pro. Probably peaking on his run there late. Mitchell Pateman third and fourth in a, his number one infiltrator. Five, four, two and one. Five, four, two and one. After race number four in the program. And the time is one seventeen. Uh, Point nine, one seventeen point nine. There, uh, what is Fury straight to the lead? He took off there with double the pro. He was back last, uh, came up wide, and his chance out wide, but he just uh, he couldn't reel him in. And uh, Nicholas got through inside of him. In fact, was going better than uh, him on the line. He's run second. So five, four, two, and one. Watto's Fury, he'd run two consecutive seconds prior to today. Trained uh, by Rod Brown here in Calgary. He's having a good time of it this year. Kira Yule. In the saddle, second win from 23 starts there. He's a five-year-old uh, Baron Gelding. He's by So Secret of Liberty Isle. He's owned by N.B. Watmore, C. Wood, and uh, D. Gramatos. And Kiri Yule continues a good form. Second uh, goes to number four, Nicholas, who uh, tried hard. Owned by G. Wilson M. Walsh, Neil Gill, A. Barnett, P. Ensel, and uh, Stephen Miller, four-year-old Bay Gelding by Trade Fair. Trained by Neil Della, Randy Tan. Margins are a half by a long head. A half length by a long head. And a third here is number two, double the pro. Trained by Peter Fooney, Mitch Pateman. And fourth in is Infiltrator. Number one, five, four, two and one.
just down here, trackside with the Brown Camp. And uh, they've got one up here. We'll talk to Teresa Brown, stable representative, and uh, probably one of the most improved horses we just touched upon off here um, to come up here on the goldfields, just improving with each run here. Yeah, he's doing really well. He was unlucky last start. He just went down by nostril. But um, today we sort of lent to go a bit forward on him and um, it's paid off. Yeah, finding the front, the key today. Um, yeah, I think it is. He um, gets going, he jumps those gates so well, so and away he goes. And you're going to keep him over the, the 1,200, 1,300 uh, distance range? At this stage, that's what um, he suits him at the moment. So, um, yeah, and then we'll see how he pulls up and we'll start him again. Well done, and no one's riding better than Kira Yule. I think she might have had a few at Broome yesterday, but uh, she rides uh, for your camp quite a lot. Yes, yeah, she does. Um, we've got a couple of nice horses coming up in the next couple of weeks, and um, Kira will be on them, so you know, she's, her and Fredo are doing really well together. Yeah. Well done. That's Teresa Brown, stable representative for the Rod Fredo Brown camp, and uh, Watto's Fury taking out the first leg of the quaddy, the Elders Insurance Cagley Handicap, after leading all of the way. We've seen them on speed today. Double the pro, put in a sustained run and just couldn't pick them up in the concluding stages. He's finished off the race well, but uh, Watto's Fury's been too sharp up the home straight. 